you travel the gift of the Nile or the infamous country of Egypt. So we are here to show you our travel. Tahiyat Lilton. Marhaban Bikub Famisil. Hello everyone and welcome to the One Days of Egypt. The country Egypt has a rich history and culture dating back thousands of years ago, from Pharaonic culture, then Christianity, and Islam. Egypt has warmth and hospitality, family, celebrations, and religion included in their cultures. Guys, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to a random stranger's house and knock on their door. Thank you. Enter their home and sit. And they cannot kick me out for three days. What you just saw may look exaggerated, but it's a real thing. In the Bedouin culture, you have to treat guests for three days in your home before you can ask them why they came to visit. Why are you here? And this rare generosity is why you should travel to Arab countries. No matter how much we whine and groan about Egyptians' attitude, we really know that there are no people as pure-hearted and unique as they are. People living abroad especially miss the warm smiles and loving characteristics that grown within the Egyptian culture. Some of their personalities are that they are generous, hospitable, they are optimistic, kind-hearted, and most especially faithful. If you are visiting an Egyptian at their home, it is guaranteed that they will keep offering you all the food and the drinks that they have. If an Egyptian saw any tourists on the street, they would randomly welcome them to Egypt. Egyptians always have an optimistic look to life. They have a belief that tomorrow will always be better. The kindest, the most helpful and most delicate human beings on earth. And lastly, Egyptians are very faithful and religious. They think of God all the time and they leave everything to God. The topography of Egypt is dominated by the Nile for about 750 miles of its northward course through the country. The river cuts its way through a bare desert, its narrow valley a sharply delineated strip of green, abundantly facade in contrast to the desolation that surrounds it. The Nile and the Delta form the first of four physiographic regions, the others being the Western Desert, the Eastern Desert, and the Sinai Peninsula. The Nile divides the desert plateau through which it flows into two unequal sections, the western desert between the river and the Libyan frontier, and the eastern desert, extending to the Suez Canal, the Gulf of Suez, and the Red Sea. Marhaban Bieljami, Wahada Luhad Misir. Hello everyone and this is Egypt's language. Egyptians speak a continuum of dialects. The predominant dialect in Egypt is Egyptian Colloquial Arabic or Romasri, which is the vernacular language. Literary Arabic, on the other hand, is their official language and the most widely written. Additionally, it is the liturgical language of Islam, the majority religion and state religion of Egypt. The Coptic language is used primarily by Egyptian Copts and it is the liturgical language of Coptic Christianity. The state religion of Egypt is Islam. The country is majority Sunni Muslims, next is Coptic Christians. Egypt hosts two major religious institutions, Al-Azhar Mosque, founded in AD 970 by the Fatimids as the first Islamic university in Egypt, 
and the Coptic Orthodox Church of Alexandria, established in the middle of the first century by St. Mark. In Egypt, Muslims and Christians share a common history, national identity, ethnicity, race, culture, and language. Religion plays a big role in the life of Egyptians, and it is intermingled with daily activities of Muslim and Christians living in Egypt. Egypt's most tranquil town is Aswan, set upon the winding curves of the Nile, backed by orange-hued dunes. This is the perfect place to stop and unwind for a few days and soak up the chilled atmosphere. Take the river ferry across the Elephantine Island and stroll the colorful streets of the Nubian villages. Ride a camel to the desert monastery of St. Simeon on the East Bank. Or just drink endless cups of tea on one of the riverboat restaurants while watching the Latin sail Felugas Drift Pass. The last surviving of the seven wonders of the ancient world, the Pyramids of Giza are one of the world's most recognizable landmarks. Built as tombs for the mighty pharaohs and guarded by the enigmatic Sphinx, Giza's pyramid complex has awed travelers down through the ages and had archaeologists scratching their heads over how they were built for centuries. An undeniable highlight of any Egypt trip, Giza's pyramids should not be missed. When 2020 began with a lot of destruction and struck us with corona, new paths were instructed to all and inflicted the society with the prevailing trauma. While we are in the midst of this pandemic, many establishments were closed due to the said pandemic and it included the Hanging Church of Cairo, even though it was reopened last August 3, 2020 after being closed for four months. This comes as the number of Egypt's new COVID-19 cases rise again after weeks of decline that they have to close again. I believe that the message of the Gospels are still important in their lives. Gospels are made to increase our faith and remain our beliefs in our Almighty God. We need our faith to be strengthened and nourished, especially in these times of need, and one of the ways for us to be able to do that is to read and to know the Gospel. During this time of pandemic, worrying is our everyday foe, from our health to our society, then to our everyday living expenses. How this verse reminds us that God is always here for us every time beside us. Besides the negativities our world has, God will always be here loving and guiding us. From everything that I have learned in Egypt, I think that the gospel is indeed still relevant in today's time, especially right now during this pandemic. Many people, especially people in Egypt and every part of the world, is asking for guidance to God so we can overcome this pandemic. In today's time, many people have started praying for the betterment of the whole world, and that is where the gospel is needed today for us believers to keep believing in God and be able to stay together. Thank mm-hmm. you.